If you live on this planet, you've probably seen the new images from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. And while these images are beautiful, we wanted to understand them better. So we asked an astronomer. Telescopes are basically time machines. That's one small step for man. We're seeing the light from it 13.1 billion years ago, only 700 million years after the Big Bang. So we're looking through 95% of all time. Whoa. We went out a million miles with this telescope and that's where we're sitting now, far beyond the moon, where we could cool down to have an incredibly cold telescope, which was needed so that we could work it in the infrared. We can't see infrared with our eyes, but Webb can, which is what makes it so much better than its predecessor, the Hubble telescope. Hubble is a warm telescope, close to Earth, and Hubble can do what it does because it works in the optical, so it's much like our eyes. But the detail and the wealth of information from the infrared is just far beyond what Hubble has been able to tell us about some of these objects. So what does this mean for space exploration? Just touch the, oh, just touch the surface. It was far beyond what we ever expected. That a magnificent Carina image that we saw with the dust and so on and the stars in there. That's a place where stars are being born and the planets around them are being born. The Stefan's Quintet is another image. The, the galaxies, many of the galaxies in there, the ones to the right of the center, up and down, are actually colliding together, are coming together, merging, and are tearing each other apart. Ultimately, we're using this telescope to learn about our universe, to help us understand our origins. This is a telescope for everybody, for humankind all over. And so there's a, I think a very positive human story here that when we come together, we can do great things.